Okay, I'm here. I'm ready to do this reaction. Um, yeah, I was putting it off just a little bit because of fucking how long this was, but I was like, oh, I wanted it out this week, but time-wise, it just wasn't going to work out once the Cemetery Project doing that on the Thursday night, and and then I got a little sick, and that kind of sucked. It's Sunday now. I'm a little bit better. I pro I'm not at 100% though, you know, like I'm not going to be at like... I don't know how, like, party mode I'll be listening to this, but I'm excited to listen to this. Um, this mixtape, Cartier Gods, The Block Is Wet, this is like a very early, early, early mixtape, like one of his first few, and I guess this is, this is the one that I was asked to do, and people were uh, in agreement. So Cartier God, this is 2014, so Cartier God has been at it for a good decade now, I guess, and he's one of those artists, from what I saw, who releases a lot. He releases a lot of stuff, so um, I don't know what to really expect sound-wise. I've heard him a few times, like literally like three or four times, right? Like, and it's always like in reliant, like in connection to Blade, or I guess too with uh, like the Reptilian Club Boys as well. Um, so I don't know what he's gonna sound like on his own. One sad thing I have to say is I don't really know how we're gonna do the lyric stuff because I cannot find that shit. Anywhere, it's not on Genius, you search it up, I'm not finding it, it's not, it doesn't show up on Apple Music either, um, so we'll try our best with that. Uh, I, from this sound of music, I know it's probably not like the main importance, so let's see how that, you know, works without it, I guess. I don't really remember a lot of what Cartier got. Any of the songs I've listening to by him, like features, I don't remember them. Other than the Cartier got intermission on on Ice Dancer, that is like very familiar in my brain. But this is a very much so a different song. But this is like this is like first intro basically. I am Splash. Oh, dude, this is wavy. This is wavy, yo. Like it's very. It certainly is very repetitive. And I, I, that I usually don't have a problem with. I think it was only just because I was like, okay, it was like a four minute song. But the way that, that beat's working, the way that his, his voice is sounding, I'm just like sitting in it. I'm like floating in it. So I, it doesn't come off like poorly when I'm listening to it. I'm like, oh, all right, all right. So I don't know, man. First go, it's kind of nice, man. I'm, I am certainly liking the sound. <laughs> Okay, fuck with me, like the second song, I don't know, this one's not as impactful and I think it's because of like how lower down that the sound of everything is. Um, and that repetition of the fuck with me line is not as impactful either. And interestingly enough too, this, like I was already talking about the first song, I'm like, oh maybe it's too long, but now I'm like, oh, this one feels a little too short. Um, 
I don't know, man. We started off very strong with the first song, but the second song, although there's certain moments in the instrumental, like ambient-wise, that I'm certainly like, okay, okay, I think there is, like, elements. For me, right, like, I feel like with this Cloud Rob sound, I'm, I'm sure that certain people can, like, it connects with them, but to me, I'm like, oh, there's, it's kind of muddled down in, in ways, so... <laughs> I don't know, listening to Nola, man, oh my god, this song just sounds so fucking messy, yo, I have no idea what's going on, it has no impact on me other than like this just you know, cacophonous vibe. I'm like, like, even the way he's singing on that, and then these hi-hats are like, you know, kind of obscuring this kind of cutesy synth sounds. It just, just the way it's all mixed together, I'm like, oh, I don't know, man, it's not working. Fuck, this is annoying, okay? This is a very long project, so it better get better, okay? <laughs> biggest fan of this of this sound either like I like this song a little bit more than Nola just based off of that sort of moody like horror-esque ambience like that stays consistent throughout it I'm like okay that gives us a, a sound there but I fucking I don't know and even with the hi-hats going in there that boop, 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 like that I don't know it just it's not giving me the mood that I want I guess like it's just not sitting right with me Okay, yeah, uh, I'm also not the biggest fan of Girl What You Wanna Do. I mean, okay, so the high outs come in, you're really feeling those cloudy, like, synth vibes. Like, it's a little bit louder, this song, compared to the past few. Um, but then you have that repetition of that line in here. Um, even, like, you know, it's got that same repetition for any other line, and it's just, like, not, you know... I'm not being sucked into that, like it's not having some sort of trance element, maybe in comparison to like I Am Splash, and you know, Millie as a feature, you know, maybe like giving this like, oh, like more traditional, better like R&B vocal performance, but doing the exact same thing that Cartier is doing, so it's not engaging enough, I would say. I'm gonna 
so free like I'm boosted and I'm like a goose. I fought in his hands and I don't really know what to do. Mm. I'm out of the fruit, niggas in the thread. I'm out of the space. Put the thing out of my mouth. This all been out of the roof. Okay, I got this sauce, I got the juice. Yeah, the the I the I the 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 I'm geeking on geeking on fans. This bitch, she like my man. I'm geeking on geeking on Violet. I just get a whole beat. Yeah, I'm a geeker, I'm a geeker, I'm a geeker. Sometimes I sneak and geek, cause I'm a sneak and geeker. Dang it, girl. She think that I'm a keeper. Yeah. Alright, this one's a little bit better than the last ones we've had. Like, I'm feeling more in that baby vibe. Um, but you know, it's still missing a. It's still a little off putting for me. Okay, I can't understand this song at all, okay? Higher? This is easily the- Oh, this is the worst fucking song on here, man. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't even know what to think, right? Because when it comes to the backing, it's like, okay... It sounds weird enough that I can kind of get into that. But then you're stuck in that sound for five minutes with these vocal, you know, these rap performances that are just fucking grating to the ears, right? Although I will say that Truly Bass sort of has a much more of a normal, um, you know, normal rap, like, vocals on this, okay? <laughs> Yeah. 
piano is working for me. And his vocals are nice too. This is a vibe. This one I'm working with, right? We have this, it's very emotive backing. Really working on the piano, but Cardi's vocals stay consistent with that sound. And I, I, that's where it works for me. Mm. I don't know. You 
okay, again, a lot of the songs on this album, like, they're just so chaotic in the sound, right? Like, oh, there's some nice, cloudy, like, wavy synth vibes in it for sure, right? Like, there's something that's, like, like, you know, you can vibe in, but then the way it's mixed or a certain sound and it makes it fucking cacophonous, okay? It makes it, like, mmm. Mm. Like, I can't just sit and vibe with this. This song's a little different. I'd say Luxurious Ride. I can sit and I can vibe in this. And I think he is, like, very fast on the flow. He's very fast and, like, he's very present on this one. I like this song. I do. But I will say, okay, that that beat, if it was louder, if it was more punching, would have been even better. Okay? Like, this could have been the best song on the album if he turned that shit up. I really feel that way. Track 10 onwards, man, this has been kind of what I wanted. Not the best, but easy to listen to. Too loud, and then you have another guy going way too slow, making it just feels like he's not fucking present. You already know what you're doing. You gotta move it. Come here, shout it. Oh, you gotta buy it. You gotta space to my face. Oh, my God damn, girl, you looking so excited. Oh, damn, 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 dam
Scrape beat, minor rock. Uh, 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 okay. okay. Pull up in the foreign wrist, blank this. Yeah. Your bitch on me and she blanking. blanking. Pay a strip of rent, now she thinking. Three, six, three, I pull up on it with whatever you want. Whatever. Whatever. This song's really boring. Like, I'm like, just like, nah, I'm not feeling this by any camera around when I live in the blank. I live in the blank. Selling gas, I'm smoking gas, selling gas, I got bags of money, press work, press work. Oh, 
fucking bar. I'm always on the road, plus I'm always in and out that door. Plus I'm in and out that bowl. Getting out with that work, always getting dope. I always think money, wait for my thing. Always eat up all the time. I'm always on the road. I'm always on the road. Always keep that gas. Keep that gas. Wow. Always don't drive it fast. Wow. Always pull your bitch. Wow. Oh, catch me out. Yeah. Always fresh kicks. Catch me out. Catch me out. Wow. Always like I hit a lick. Wow. All this shit on me, nigga. I'm a walking lick. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. Okay, always is okay. I think I'm liking the auto tune hook on that. It's a little bit. I can follow that mood there a little bit. Okay. Okay, I, I don't know what, like, Cartier God's, like, biggest mixtape is. You know, this is one of the early ones. I don't know if, like, this is the one for people. The block is wet. Um, but I can, like, with confidence tell you that I am fucking not getting this at all. This could have been a worse experience. This could have been a worse experience because I, I still think that there was moments where I was like, okay, like, okay, right? Like, I think a quarter of this album, a quarter of this, I'm like, okay. I can pick up on this. And then, you know, there was a little bit that I was okay with, right? But over half of this project, over half of this, I am really not liking. I am really not liking over half of this. Over half of this is fucking, it's either boring um, or it's either got like this within the production, it's just doing something that's too loud, obscuring the sound of things and feeling cacophonous to me, right? Or we have, you know, vocal moments or rap moments that I'm just like, oh, like this is not sounding great. Like this is not engaging enough. Um, this is certainly not for me, man. This Cartier God, what he's doing here, certainly not for me. Um, again, 24 songs, right? 24 fucking tracks. Like, I don't know what he sounds like on other projects, but is this a problem with quality? Well, it's not even just a problem with quality control because at the end of the day, there's too many songs that I'm disliking. Too many. Um, but you know... Because of the songs I do like, I think Cartier God on the Block is Wet is saving himself from a half star score. And he's going to get the two and a half out of ten. Okay? On first go, it was a two and a half out of ten. Okay? I don't fucking like this. Okay? I just do not like this at all. Sure, I couldn't get the lyrics, but after listening to these songs, for the most part, I can understand that that's not, you know, necessary, probably. Um... Yeah. One thing I will say, though, is that with the, this album, is the features d never do this justice. I think the features, all the people who rap on this are even worse off than Cartier God, barring, you know, Little B. Um, but even Little B on this, it's like, this is not your type of album. You know, like, this is not what I want you to be doing. Anyways, though, there you have it, okay? Uh, fucking, I'm going to listen to it again. We'll see if things change, if I'm going to... If it's gonna hook, but right now, I fucking, this is not for me, bro. Not for me. Okay, here I am. I came back to the Block is Wet, this mixtape, Cartier God. Um, hoping, hoping it would get um, better. But it only by a smidgen, just by a smidgen, got worse for me. I think that's kind of a shame. It did. It, it kind of got worse. Thing is, is that listening to this, some songs got better. Some songs got worse. You know what I mean? My opinion slightly changed up a little bit on this. But, uh, you know, a lot of the songs that I were liking lessened for me. Um, at the end of the day, this is just extremely, extremely boring. Um, you know, these repetitive cloud beats often enough, even with headphones, often enough are not engaging. Uh, funny thing is too, still, the first song on this mixtape is easily the best one, easily the, you know, the waviest. And I, you know, I don't think that translates um, for the rest of this project. Um, yeah, this is just, it's very off-putting. It, it's very, like I was saying, cacophonous to the ear. It doesn't really, you know, feel nice. I can't just sit in it. Um, you know, listening to this again with its length, I was getting quite freaking antsy. Um, yeah.
yeah, I don't really know what Cartier God has in store for me on any other projects if I do react to them. But all I can say about this um, is that it's it's really, it's just, no, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Um, I'm going to give it, I'll give it a 2 out of 10, okay? It's going to drop 0.5. It was a 2.5. Now it's a 2. What a shame, you know? That sucks, but... What to do, right? Uh, anyways, if there's anything else you want to see me react to, anything at all, just put a comment down below. Uh, thank you for watching. Peace.